Hey everyone, welcome back to AZ Update. Let's jump right into the Microsoft news of the week. First up, privilege identity management now coming to Azure Lighthouse. This is a big deal because now when you're offering up your partner access through Azure Lighthouse to gain access to your infrastructure inside of the cloud, you can actually put forth just-in-time governance and ensure that those the availability of the services made available to your partners that are managing your organization through Lighthouse and given that access to Lighthouse have the ability to automatically be disconnected during a certain amount of time. This comes into a lot of importance and plays in regards to certain organizations that can only allow certain aspects of access to one's infrastructure. So the inclusion of just-in-time configuration for authentication to an infrastructure that an organization is being supported with via a partner, uh, having that governance and having that ability to cut it when it's no longer required uh, is very important. So this is currently in public preview. And as always, when things are in public preview, Microsoft asks for your feedback. So the link's available on itopstock.com. Definitely go and check it out. And uh, we'll get more information and get that to uh, back to our engineers to, to provide your input and your feedback on just-in-time configuration through privileged identity management with Azure Lighthouse. Next up in the news, Sarah Lean shares a great tutorial on utilization of Windows Package Manager to restore your PC's applications. Imagine you have to flatline a PC because it's become corrupt or has received a hardware issue, and now you have to reinitialize that PC. You can actually use Windows Package Manager to take a capture of all the applications that are inside of that PC. And once you've done the restore, push all those applications back through Windows Package Manager. This also comes into good practice when you're doing this on a net new PC that requires the same applications as the previous PC that you've captured that package from. So in that instance as well, you can then use Windows Package Manager to push out all the applications to the PC itself uh, and makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to set up all the applications on the machine itself. Really cool tutorial, definitely check it out, available on itopstock.com. Next up is the Microsoft Learn Module of the Week. This week's module is Introduction to Azure Migrate for Server Migration. This is a big one. A lot of questions coming in regards to how do I start my cloud journey? Uh, my organization is looking at a hybrid model. We have a VMware implementation or a Hyper-V implementation, and we want to move up to the cloud. This is a great hands-on lab that gives you the, the understanding and functionality around what the migration would look like, what it would look like to have that capability of pushing some of your services up to the cloud, continually having that hybrid model of on-premises implementation of compute, of storage, but taking advantage of the compute and storage capabilities in cloud as well, especially in current times and the availability of data and information that's, that's really important uh, to your workers uh, to have that information at their fingertips at all times. Taking advantage of cloud resources for that functionality is of great importance. So having that capability and having that ability done so and understanding the, the functionality around the Azure Migrate tool is a great opportunity to learn and upskill through the Microsoft Learn module of the week. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. You can reach me at Wireless Life. If you want to get a hold of Producer Care, you can get a hold of him at Wired Canuck. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you all next week.